to walk back. So today we have another、uh, troubleshooting for this、uh, 2007 uh, Prius. I get the engine call with the P2601. It looks like the, one of the cooling、uh, heater pump is、uh, going bad.、Uh, hopefully, it's not the auxiliary、uh, pump, which is、uh, under the windshield wiper or behind the hyper、uh, energy、uh, system. So, anyway, I'm going to plug in and show you guys the engine code. So, I got this uh, Nix uh, die by Nexus. I'm gonna plug this one into the OBD2 connector, which is、uh, under the steering wheel column. So, I want to、uh, hit the power button twice. And I'm going to、uh, hit the OK button. Gonna read the code. So there's a pending、uh, DTC code. Oh, current、uh, DTC code right there. So it says a、uh, cooling pump control circuit range slash performance. And、uh, over there on the upper left hand side, it says、uh, P2601. If you don't know the code, you could、uh, just go on the Google and search it. But、uh, most likely, is it is the pump that is、uh, right next to the reservoir、uh, tank, the heater tank. So, I'm going to attempt to open the fender liners and then、uh, I'm going to turn the steering wheel to the. I gotta start the engine real quick. I turn it to the passenger side so I get enough、uh, leverage. I'm gonna shut off the engine now, unplug it. So, if you have an engine code like that or check engine light、uh, shows on your dash, it will not allow you to pass a smog, okay? So, you need to fix the problem. Or else, if you go to smog, it's gonna fail. So, as you can see, I turned the wheel and then the, the pump should be、uh, behind this、uh, fender liner. So, I will need to remove this、uh, fender liner. So, I believe my son he popped the tire because this is the,、uh, the one that we have on there was like a black rim. This is another、uh, set that I have, which is a smaller、uh, tire. This is 185 instead of a 195. So, the sidewall was all shredded. So, I'm not sure that would cause the pump to go bad or not due to the impact. So, this is the black rim that was original、uh, on there. Well, I changed it. It was a、uh, 185. So, I bought this、uh, set of rim, which is a New York Prius. So, my buddy got me this,、uh, I don't know why he got me the used one. I guess the new one's like pretty expensive. So, he got this out of the pick apart. And hopefully, this one's still good. Because when I twist the plug, try to take it out, and somehow this thing, the cylinder on the top, it、uh, turns. So I'm not sure if it's、uh, supposed to be turning left or right or not. And you will need to use、uh, this to、uh, take out the clamps. So I'm, I'm going to use the two of this、uh, clamp to squeeze the tube for the coolant. So I don't need to flush the coolant. I got two of this. Because、uh, there are two tubes. One goes here and then one goes over there. And hopefully, I could、uh, do it without any、uh, leakage. Okay? You will need to get a flashlight, okay, to see. Because I'm inside the garage, it's pretty dark.
There's a 10 millimeter socket I need to remove it. Well, it looks like uh, I need to remove the tire. I need to check out the car. All right, good news, guy. I think we have a uh, we found a problem. The problem is this uh, connector got cut. You see, so lucky I when my buddy bought me the pump, it come with the connector. So I'm not gonna change this pump. I think the pump is still good. Just the impact, I guess, uh, cut the wire. So, I'm going to unplug this. Uh, yeah, and then I'll take it out. Take out this uh, plug. And then uh, put the one that came with it, uh, with the other one. And then I uh, just plug it in and uh, just gonna fix the problem. So this is the tank or the reservoir for the water heater tank or the cooling heater tank. So everything uh, looks good, so just this plug is bad. And uh, let's uh, test it out and see if that will fix this uh, problem. All right? So the white one is on the right side, the blue one. Ooh, make sure it's, there's no power. I was gonna get a short and that won't be good.
Yeah, so this uh, plug is pretty tight. You gotta press this uh, downward in order to get it out. Also, hopefully I'm not gonna break anything here. So. Oh my god, so nasty. So this is the plug that I got from the old one. Lucky it came with it. So I'm gonna splice it out and then uh, put it together. Alright, I'm gonna do this and then uh, plug it in and then test it out. That should solve the problem. Hopefully I'm not gonna short circuit anything. Well, let me uh... Put the wire tape. Because I want, I want to do this uh, behind this uh, play. Oh, it's gonna happen again. Get cut. And I'm going to wrap this again. <laughs> One more time. Because uh, these uh, two wires are too thin. Better protect it. And loop around here, plug this in. Hmm. So I guess I, well, yeah, it's gonna cut it again. Let's see. I don't think this is uh, installing properly. It's supposed to come with a bracket. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna use a zip tie again to mount it somewhere.
There you go. As long as this thing's up, I mean, you installed it cor correctly. All right, so we're gonna test this out real quick. See if the engine code is coming up. All right, so this is the moment of the truth. I'm gonna turn it on. Let me uh, check it. Alright, so it still shows there. I'm going to uh, clear it. Escape. Erase code. We are going down. I'm going to erase the code now. Turn the engine on, engine off, so I need to shut out the engine. press uh, twice now I'm gonna press OK on the uh, OBD2 scanner emission related uh, diagnostic information has been clear press OK let's go back and read the code the vehicle has no faulty code okay and as you can see, the check engine light is no longer there anymore once I start the car, okay? Well, uh, anyway, hopefully you guys uh, give a thumbs up, like the video. Please uh, be sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on the bell for notification, or drop any other comments on below. And thank you for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video. Like always, peace.